Hi guys, and welcome to another video walkthrough. Uh, this one is going to be to do with uh, surds. So this was week 10, and we're going to go through surds. So let me share my screen and make a start. Okay, so surds, <clears throat> definitely a higher topic. It's one of those topics that um, you all need to know if, you do, if you're doing higher, definitely. So uh, by the end of this lesson, hopefully you'll be able to simplify surds using square factors. I'll explain what that is in a minute. Uh, use the multiplication, division, and addition and subtraction rules for surds. And also at the end, we're gonna rationalize the denominator, which is quite common, especially in the higher papers. So um, what is a surd? A surd is a square root which cannot be reduced to a whole number. So, you know, certain square numbers, such as square root of 4, square root of 64, and so on, they could be simplified to whole numbers. Yeah, you're not going to get a decimal. But certain uh, square roots uh, will give you a decimal, such as root 2, root 3, and root 5. You know, if you put these in the calculator, you're not going to get a whole number. You're going to get decimals, you know. Um, so these are what we call surds. Um so to be more accurate, you know, you just leave it as a surd. You just leave it as root five or root three as your answer. Yeah. So if it says give your answer as a surd, um, you have to you have to leave it like that. Yeah. So don't give it as a decimal. So in this example, circle the following, which are surds. Well, root sixteen. If you know your square numbers, you'll know your square roots as well. Yeah. So if you go up in your square numbers, what's one squared? What's two squared? What's three squared? What's four squared? And so on. Whatever those numbers are, if you go backwards, you'll know what your square roots are. So the square root of 16, something times something gives you that 16, that something is 4. Yeah, so that's not a third. That's definitely a whole number. Um, root 8, um, that's not in the uh, square numbers. Again, if you go open your square numbers, 8 is not one of the square numbers. So that's definitely a third. Root 9, um, that simplifies to 3, so that's definitely not a third. Root 25, uh, that's got to be 5, because 5 times 5 gives you 25, so that's not a third. And root 27, um, again, that's not in the square numbers. Might appear in the cube numbers, but that's, that's a different topic, so uh, definitely... That is a third. Yeah, if you put root 27 in your calculate, you'll definitely get a, a decimal. So that's definitely a third. So hopefully that will that explains you know what is a third and what isn't what isn't a third. Um, let's have a look at the first rule then for thirds. So the first rule is root a. Let's call it any number uh, times uh, root b, another number. You can rewrite it like this. So you got the square root of a times b inside the square root. So you can simplify these as well. So let's see, that's going to be, wait, let me make this a little bit. Let's rewrite it like this. So this would be, so using this rule, that's the same as square root of 4 times 9 inside a, a, a square root. 4 times 9 is 36. Um, and 36 can be simplified even further. So the root of 36 is 6. So there's your answer. Yeah. So you, these will definitely be on the non-calculated paper, by the way. Um, yeah, because you're not allowed to calculate. You're supposed to use... Um, uh, you're supposed to work out yourself, basically. Yeah. You could simplify this. In fact, root 4 is the same as 2. And root 9, that's the same as 3. So uh, 2 times 3, which is 6, you get you get the same answer doing it this way as well. So uh, obviously, these are numbers that you can square root and you'll get whole numbers. Sometimes you won't get that. You know, sometimes you, you won't be able to, to um, simplify certain numbers, uh, which we'll see in a, in a moment. Let's have a look at this next example. Simplify root 12. Well, that's the same as... Going backwards in this in this rule, it's the same as 
root 3 times 4. Yep. Um, so that's going to be, uh, and we can rewrite it like this now. So that's going to be root 4 times by root 3. You can write it like this side by side. You know, we know there's a invisible times um, between them. Um, and then you can simplify this even further because root 4, root 4 is, is actually uh, a 2. Yeah, that simplifies to a 2. And root 3, we can't simplify that anymore. That's going to be root 3. Okay, let's move on. Try these practice questions then. So try practice question 1A. Uh, there's quite a few parts in here. So you've got A, B, C, D, E, and F. Uh, try them yourself. Pause the video. And um, we'll go through it in a minute. Okay, so part A, uh, root 2 times root 2. So that's the same as um, root 2 times 2 inside the square root, uh, which is the same as root 4. That simplifies to just 2 on its own. Yeah, so you should have got 2 just for that one. Uh, root 4 times root 4, um, that's the same as root 4 times 4, which is the same as root 16, simplifies to 4. So another way of looking at this is, you know, when you get anything like this, root 4 times root 4, so it's root 4 times by itself, what you've actually got is root 4 squared these cancel each other out don't they so when the square and the square root uh, if you've got them in the same uh problem you they cancel each other out so this cancels with this you're just left with the number inside which is just four so the square root and the square they just cancel each other out you're just left with the number which makes sense so you know it's the same for this as well where we had root two times root two the roots just cancel each other out. You're just left with the number inside, which is just two. Um, so similar sort of thing. Um, let's try the next one. So we've got different numbers this time around. We've got root two times by root eighteen. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You know, can you can either break down that root eighteen, or you could. In fact, I'll do it both ways. Let me do it both ways. So using that rule, that's the same as. 2 times 18, which is root 36, which gives you 6 as your answer. Yep. Or you could have said uh, this is the same as uh, root 2 times. And let's break down the root 18. What's the biggest square root that goes into it? Sorry, what's the biggest square number that goes into 18? biggest square number that goes into 18 is 9. So 18, <clears throat> or root 18, is the same as root 9 times root 2. Yep, which can simplify even further, because root 9 is just 3 on its own, isn't it? So we've got root 2 there times 3 root 2. And there's, there's another example where you've got root 2 and root 2 together, root 2 times by root 2, because root, that root 2 is multiplying everything in this in this problem. So <clears throat> root 2 times root 2 is just going to give you 2 on its own. So you just get 2 times 3, which gives you 6. Yeah, so you get the same answer. It doesn't matter which way you do it. You could have done it this way, or you could have done it this way. You get the same answer. Um <clears throat> so the, whichever way you do it, it makes no difference. You know, the rules do do work. Let's try the next one. Um, I'm not going to do it 8 times 32. That's going to be a bit weird. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to break down what is root 8 made of. So root 8 is the same as root 4 root 2 times root 32. Um... Let's do root 4 again. How many 4s go into 32? 8 times. Yep, yeah, so that's the same as that. 
Then you can simplify it. Well, root four is the same as two, and that's root two times two root eight. Uh, let me just see. Okay. So technically we've got two times two, which gives you four. Um, now this root eight over, over here, can we break that down even more? <clears throat> yeah, we can, you know what we can do. So we've got two root two on this side, on the flat, sorry. Um, and the root eight, you can break that down even further into root four root two. Yeah. And now that is the same as two times that two there, plus another two for that root four. And we've got, let me just make sure I've got it right. So I didn't, I do that one with that one. It's one, two, three. In fact, we've got another two as well. Two root two times root two is going to give us another two. So, in fact, we've got an, we've got a whole number. So it's two times two, which is four. Times two is eight. Times two is sixteen. You should get sixteen as your answer. I could have done one more stage further, but basically, you've got two. This two right here times this two. You've got another two here, so root four. That's, that's so that's two times two times two so far, and then these two together. This one with this one gives you another two. So you got four twos, two times two times two times two, which gives you sixteen. Um, eventually, you're going to get sixteen as your answer. Whichever way you do this, again, you're going to get sixteen. Lots of ways of doing these, by the way. So there's not just one way of doing these. There are multiple multiple ways you could have said you know that root 32 i think if you think of the biggest square number that goes into 32 i think you get your answer a lot easier a lot quicker sorry so um you could have said could have said um that was the same as root 8 is the same as root 4 root 2 and in fact, we could have used 16. That's a better one. 16 times root 2. Yeah, that's going to be 2 root 2 times 4 root 2. That's much better. Yeah, which is 8 root 2. Which equals 8 root 2 root 2. And that's that's going to be 2 times 2, which gives you um sorry that's going to be two there so it's going to be eight times two you get the same answer 16 definitely yep you get the same answer because that's going to be eight times two at the end of the day yep two root two times root two gives you just two on its own so it's eight times two which gives you 16. this i think that's a lot quicker in fact so i think the quickest way of doing this is find the biggest square number that goes into these to break them down a lot quicker yeah, that's, that's what we were saying before about finding uh, square factors. So it has to be a square number and it has to be a factor at the same time. So try to find the biggest square factor that goes into them. And I think you get your answer a lot quicker. Let's try that for these then. So what's the biggest square number that goes into root 28? Biggest square factor. Definitely four. Is there a bigger one? Uh, so nine doesn't go into it. Sixteen doesn't go into it. Um, I think four is the biggest one. Yeah. So four is the biggest factor that goes into it. That's a square number. Uh, and that's so root twenty-eight is the same as root four, root seven. Okay. And one hundred seventy-five. Uh, well, 25 definitely goes into that. That's a that's a good one. Is there a bigger one? Let's, let's just use 25. I think 25 is the biggest one. So you can do 25. How many 25s go to 175? Um, 25, 50, 75, 100. 125, 150, 175. Root 7. 
seven times. Yep, so that's the same as that. Just break it down. Uh, that gives us 2 root 7 times 5 root 7. Well, 2 times 5 is 10. Root 7 times root 7 is just 7. So you've got 10 times 7, which is 70. That's your answer. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Um, let's do the next one. Root 99. Biggest square factor of 99. <clears throat> let's try 9. So that's the same as root 9, root 11. And... 22, just 2 and 11, isn't it? Root 2, root 11. Yep, that's the same as that. You notice you'll get root 11 in both uh, terms. So you've got a root 11 here and you've got root 11 here. So they'll cancel each other. The, root, the square root will cancel each other out. Um, let's simplify this, though. So you've got root 9, which is 3, root 11, times root 2 root 11 okay um well that's the same as the root 11 root 11 that'll just give you 11 so it's 3 times 11 times root 2 on its own so it's going to be 33 root 2 can't simplify that anymore yep yeah, that's your answer for that one Uh, have a go of the next ones yourself. Question 1B. Uh, pause the video. And when you're ready, just unpause it. Okay, so let's go through these. Um, root 8, that's the same as... Again, let's think of the biggest square factor. So the biggest square number that goes into 8 is 4. So that's the same as root 4, root 2 which simplifies to 2 root 2. Yep, that's the answer. Um, 75, biggest square number that goes into 75 is 25. So that's going to be root 25 root 3, which is equal to 5 root 3. Yep, that's your answer. <clears throat> 200, uh, biggest square number or oh, 100 definitely 100 is a square number so that's the same as root 100 root 2 that's going to be 10 root 2 obviously you could, you could have done it a different way you would have eventually got 10 root 2 you want the smallest number in underneath this uh square uh, root so you know you know you've got your answer when this is a really small number as small as possible under the square root <clears throat> Um, next one, let's try 16, so that's going to be root 16, root 2, and that's going to be 4, root 2, yep, 48, um, 4 definitely, is there a bigger one, uh, does 16 go into 48? Yeah, it does three times. So, in fact, you could call that root 16, root 3. Yeah, if you do 16 times 3, you should get 48. If you're not sure, you could have definitely you could have used 4, uh, but you have to keep going until you keep uh, until you keep simplifying until you can't simplify anymore. Uh, let's just go with this one, uh, and that's going to be the same as 4 root 3. Okay, 180, um, definitely 9 goes into that, might be a bigger one, let's just go with 9, so that's the same as root 9, root 20, yep, 9 goes into 180, 20 times, we're going to have to break down that 20 as well, so I'm assuming there will be a bigger square number. I just can't think of it. Let's just go with this. Um, root 9 is just 3. 
root 20. We're going to have to break down the 20. So um, biggest square number that goes into that is 4. So it's 3 root 4 root 5. So that's 3 times 2 root 5, which is 6 root 5. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, you could have done it differently. I think you might have figured out what the big uh, biggest square number was that goes into 180. What was it? Um, 36. Let's try and calculate. 180. This is cheating a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's 36. Yeah, 36 goes into it five times. So if you don't know that, if you don't know your 36 times table, like me, um, then, you know, you can do it this way. It's absolutely fine. Just make sure you break down that root 20, because that's quite a big number in there. Um, so you want you want the number inside the square root, under underneath the square root, as small as possible. And, you know, root 5 is the smallest we can get it. There's no other square number that goes into root 5. So you can't break that break that down in, anymore. Yep, so that's your answer. Six root five. You can do it this way. You could have you could have used root root thirty six as well. Let's move on to rule number two. So rule number two is to do with dividing uh, thirds. So if you do the square root of one number divided by the square root of another number, you can rewrite it like this. So it's like a like a fraction inside the square root symbol so let's simplify this that's the same as that's the same as root 9 over root 16 and these these can simplify even further root 9 is the same as 3 root 16 is the same as 4 so your answer is 3 quarters yep using that rule yeah, there's your answer. Three quarters for that one. Uh, next one, you can you can rewrite it like oh, that's a funny equal sign. Uh, rewrite that as uh, square root of twelve over three. That's the same thing, isn't it? As that, and we can simplify that even further. Twelve divided by three is four, so it's a square root of four, which simplifies to two. There's your answer. Yep, so try the next ones yourself. Practice question 2A. Pause the video. When you're ready, just unpause it. Okay, let's go through these. Um, so that's the same as root 4 over root 25, which simplifies to 2 over 5. There's your answer. That's the same as square root 45 over 5. 45 over 5 is, how many fives go to 45 is 9. So it's the square root of 9, which is 3. Um, that's the same as root 4 over root 49. Uh, that's going to be 2 over 7. There's your answer. That's the same as square root of 18 over 2, which is root 9, which is 3. Yep. I don't have the answers in front of me, by the way. I'm just working it out the same as you guys. Um, but I will, you know, I do make mistakes. So if I do make any mistakes, do let me know. Um, Let's have a look. So uh, next one, that, rewrite uh, that one as uh, square root of 24 over 6. Six. How many 6 is going to 24? Four times. So that's root 4, which is 2. And last one, and that's the same as root 20 over 2, which is... <laughs> Root 10. Can we simplify that anymore? Uh, 
So it's not a, obviously it's not a square number, so you can't change it to a whole number. Um, no, the square number goes into that. You can't simplify that anymore. Just leave it like that. Root ten. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's go on to practice question two. B. Try this yourself. Pause the video, and once once you're ready, uh, just um, unpause it. Okay, so given that x is equal to root 2, y is root 5, z is root 10, work out the value of y over x, z. Write your answer in its simplest form. Okay, so uh, we've got y over x, z. So y, let's just replace these letters with what they're saying. So y is root 5 over root 2 and z is root 10. Write your answer in its simplest form. Okay, so that's going to be um, oh, I know what we can do. You can break that down, you know, you can break that down, that root 10 <clears throat> even further and simplify it by Um, calling it so root 10 is the same as root 2 times root 5 yeah that's the same as root 10 um, this will cancel with this yeah so you'll get one at the top and that's one as well obviously um, and root 2 times root 2 is just 2 on its own so it's just 1 over 2 um, so it should be should be a half as your answer. Yep, that's your answer. You should get half. Let's move on to the next section. So addition and subtraction rules. So this is the same as algebra. So if you imagine, if you think back to algebra, how you add uh, terms, how you how you um, simplify terms, collect like terms and things like that. So things like 3x plus 2x equals 5x. It's exactly the same concept, same logic uh, for surds as well. If you've got... 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2, you'll have 5 root 2. Yeah, and that's your answer. So you've got 3 of those plus 2 of those, you've got 5 of those. Yeah, just think of them as apples and pears. You've got 3 apples plus 2 apples, you've got 5 apples. Yeah, same, same concept. Uh, try the next ones yourself, question 3a. Pause the video and um, unpause it when you're ready. Okay, so let's go through these. Um, practice question 3a. A. Uh, so you got root 5 plus 2 root 5. So you got technically you got one of these plus two of these. You've got three of these. That's your answer. So you got three root 5. Six root 5, take away two root 5. So you got six of those. Take away two of those, you get four of those. That's your answer. 7 root 3, take away 4 root 3. 7 take away 4 is 3 root 3. Uh, that's going to be, again, you've got one of those plus five of those. You've got six of those. Let's move down. <clears throat> again, six of those take away one of those. You've got five of those yeah that's your answer oh slightly different one expand and simplify so this is a uh, exactly the same as ex uh, expanding double brackets for algebra as well same same rules apply so everything in the first brackets is multiplying everything in the second second brackets so this one with this one gives two times two which is four this one with this one is minus 2 root 3. This one with this one is plus 2 root 3. And this one with this one is root 3 times minus root 3. You'll get minus because a positive times a positive times a negative gives you a negative. 
and root three times root three is just three. Okay, uh, this term goes with this term. Yeah, they cancel each other out, don't they? Yeah, they're gone, so they disappear. You've got minus two root three plus two root three, you're left with nothing for those, they just disappear. And four take away three, four take away three is just one. So your answer is one for that. Looks a bit weird, but yeah, that's basically it. And it looks very similar to, if you notice, it's, it's a sim, similar sort of thing to, similar sort of thing to difference of two squares. So if you're not sure, do have a look at difference of two squares, that topic. Do you remember when you've got one bracket's got a plus, another the other bracket's got a minus. So um, do have a look at that. Very, very similar. And it cancels terms out. You know, when you've got a difference of two squares, you will cancel a few terms out. And in this case, we canceled these two out, didn't we? Um, so it's a really good way, especially later on, you know, when we do rationalizing the, the uh, denominator. Um, if you want to cancel some ter terms out, I think it's a good idea to, to use difference of two squares to cancel a few terms out and it's, you, you're, le you're left with fewer terms to deal with, um, which is basically what you're trying to do, you know, when you simplify. Let's move on. Uh, practice question 3B onwards. If you guys want to try these yourself, give them a go. Um, pause the video. When you're ready, unpause it. Right, so there seems to be a mistake in these notes. One second. Let me go back. And there should be an A there. And here as well. Let me correct it. Yeah, so it should look in the form as that. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Right. That's better. Yeah, so there should be an A and a B in this, definitely. Just, um, yeah, try it again if, uh, if you want to try these now and uh, pause the video and uh, give them a go and unpause it when you're ready. Okay, so um, let's go through 3B. So write this in the form A plus B root 5, where A and B are integers. So if you remember what integers are, integers just means whole numbers. There could be there could be positive, could be negative. So in this case, A and B, they're saying um, we should simplify this or rewrite it in this form. Um, so let's have a look. What, what's going on here? So this is a, a bracket and it's got a squared on the outside. So that's the same as 3 plus root 5 multiplied by 3 plus root 5. Yeah, it's double brackets. So that's the same as that. Let's expand it. Let's see what we get. So that one with that one, you'll get. In fact, I'll write it here. Uh, three times three, which is nine. That one with that one, that's three root five. This one with this one, another three root five. Oops. Uh, 3 root 5, and this one with this one. Well, root 5 times root 5 is just 5 on its own. Yep. This goes with this. There's your like terms. Um, <clears throat> you'll get 6 root 5 altogether with those, and 9 plus 5, 9 plus 5 is 14. So it's 14 plus three root five yeah and you're not supposed to say what a and b is you're just supposed to show that it's in that form and you have yep so you'll get something plus something root five that's what they wanted in that form and we've done that yep they're whole they're whole numbers so you're done you're not supposed to say what a and b is just leave it like that yep so that's that one done just fix that let's move on um write that in the form a plus B root two. Yeah, it's the same sort of thing. So let's just rewrite as double brackets. Yep, let's expand it. Uh, that one with that one. 
I always draw the arrows. It just helps to show what which one I've done, just to remind myself. Um, that's nine. This one with this one is minus three root two. This one with this one is another minus three root two. This one with this one, a minus times a minus gives us a positive. And in this case, root two times root two is just two. Yeah, again, this goes with this. Uh, you'll get nine plus two, which is 11. Minus three root two. So you're on minus three, you're gonna minus another three, it's getting colder, so it's gonna be minus six root two. Yep, and yep, that's your answer. Uh, the fact that it's minus makes no difference. Um, you've still got your, your answer. Yep, that's your answer for that one. Let's move on. Uh, expand and simplify. Uh, yeah, so basically, just expand it and simplify. Let's see what we get. So this one with this one, you'll get three on its own. This one with this one is four root three. This one with this one is two root three. And this one with this one is eight. Um, so three plus eight gives you 11 um, and you, you'll get four plus two, which is six root three. Yep, that's your answer. Let's move on. Expand and simple, oh blimey, what is that? Let's just do bit by bit. So got double brackets there, you've got double brackets there, and they're taking away each other. Let's just do it separately. Yeah, so that is the same as 2 plus root 3 times 2 plus root 3, okay, minus 2 minus root 3, 2 minus root 3. Yeah, just do them separately. This one with this one is 4. This one with this one is two root three. Uh, that one with that one is another two root three. This one with this one is three. So that's, let's put it all in brackets. So all of that take away all of this. So do them, do them separately, put them in a big, I, I put them in a big brackets like that just to separate because it's that take away that. Um, so again, let's, let's do this one. Let's expand this one. Two times two is, four and that one with that one is minus two root three another minus two root three and minus times minus is a positive that's going to be a three let's simplify these in their own little brackets so that's going to be four plus three which is seven um, two root three plus another two root three, that's going to be four root three. Yeah, so it's that. Take away um, four plus three gives you seven. Minus two and another minus two. So minus, you're on minus two, you're going to minus another two, you're getting colder. It's going to be minus four root three. What's this going to give us? Um, seven minus seven is zero, so they cancel each other out. Four root three minus minus, or so minus with a minus gives us a plus. So you're just left with technically you've got positive four root three plus four root three, yeah, because a minus and a minus gives you a positive, so it's going to be eight root three as your answer, that's what you're left with. Yeah, because a seven, take away seven, they cancel each other out, you're left with zero for them. So it's that plus that, uh, which gives you eight root three. Yep, yeah, that's your answer. 
let's move on to the next section. Is it the last one? I think it's the last section, isn't it? Rationalize the denominator. This is where it gets a little bit weird. Whenever it says rationalize the denominator, um, you just have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator, both top and bottom, by the bottom bit, by the de denominator. You know, so let's have a look at this example. Rationalize the denominator and simplify it if possible. So you've got 35 over root 7. So if you times both top and bottom by root 7 over root 7, it's the same thing. Basically, root 7 over root 7 simplifies to 1, doesn't it? So you're not actually changing the numbers. You're not making them bigger. You're not making them smaller. You're actually just rearranging it by doing it like this. Uh, but let's see what we get. So if you multiply both top and bottom by root 7, what do we get on the top? So we'll get 35 root 7. And at the bottom, root 7 times root 7. Well, the roots cancel each other out. You're just left with 7. And then you can cancel uh, or you can simplify. 35, how many 7s go into 35? Uh, 5 times. 7 goes into that once. So technically, you've got your answers. 5 root 7. Yep, and you just leave it like that. So you've rationalized the denominator. You're basically getting rid of the, the fraction. And uh, that should be your final answer. Yep, so whenever you get anything like this, just multiply both top and bottom by the, by the denominator. And... Uh, that's how you rationalize the denominator. So have a go of the next ones yourself. Uh, pause the video and uh, unpause it when you're ready. Okay, so practice question 4a. Rationalize denominator, simplify if possible. So let's multiply that by root 3 over root 3. That's going to give us 6 root 3 over... Uh, root 3 times root 3 just gives us 3. And uh, we can simplify that even more. 3 goes into that 2 times. 3 goes into that once. So it's 2 root 3. Yep, that's your answer for that one. Uh, 4b. Write this in the form a root 2 where a is an integer. Okay. So we've got 8 root 2 plus root 72. Okay, bit of a weird one. <clears throat> but basically, you're going to have to break this root 72 down as well. You know, we're going to eventually, we're going to have to end up with root 2 um, on its own, multiplied by something. So you definitely have to break that down. Uh, we'll come to that in a minute. Let's rationalize the denominator for this bit here because we don't want the fraction. We want it as uh, in this form. So definitely we have to rationalize the denominator for this bit. So that's the same as 8 root 2 times root 2 over root 2 plus. I'll tell you what, should we break that down now? Um, what's the biggest? Square number that goes into 72. Uh, 36. That's a good one. 36 root 2. Yeah, that's the same as root 72, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be... Okay, let's do this side, in fact. So what are you going to get? That's going to be um, 8 root 2 over... Root 2 times root 2 is just 2 on its own. That simplifies. 2 goes into that 4. 2 goes into that once. And this bit here, root, th root 36 is the same as 6. And we still got root 2. So it's going to be 4 root 2 for that bit plus 6 root 2. Yeah. And like I said before, you know, you're going to end up with something root 2. And we do. you got 4 root 2 plus 6 root 2. you got Four of those plus six of those, you've got 10 of those. So it's 10 root 2. That's your answer. Yeah, you just leave it like that. That's that one done. Uh, then for part two, it says rationalize denominator for this. Um, wow. Okay. So we've got double brackets on the top. You've got 
three, root 22 at the bottom. Um, should we multiply everything by root 22? Let me think. Loads of ways you can do these. Um, we're definitely going to have to get rid of the fraction at the bottom. Um, 3 root 22. Could do. Or will we get loads of big numbers? Let's see what we get when we... Um, <clears throat> let's simplify the top bit first. You know... Um, Double brackets on the top. Let's simplify that. So you've got five plus root three, and you've got five minus root three. It's like um, difference of two squares. Again, you're gonna you'll get you'll get rid of some terms definitely by doing by expanding this. Um, so five times five is twenty-five. That one with that one is minus five root three plus root five root three. Yeah, they'll cancel each other out. And this one with this one is minus three. So you'll get 25 minus three, which is 22. Ooh, okay. I see where this is going. Um, so at the top, uh, and obviously, obviously, these cancel each other out. You, you're left with zero. So this term with this term cancel each other out. Just left with 22 at the top. Um, so we've got this thing here, 22 at the top over 3 root 22. Uh, Let's multiply both top and bottom by root 22 on its own. You could have done three root 22, but I think that's a bit, that's a bit overkill. So let's just do it this way. Um, what do we get on the top? 22 root 22. I can't simplify that unless... Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, I'll come to that in a minute. Uh, and for the bottom bit, it is 3 times 22. Well, this will cancel with this. Yeah, that 22 cancels with that. So you're left with root 22 over 3. I think you just leave it like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you just leave it like that, to be honest. There's no other square number that goes into 22. Have I done that right? If not, do let me know. I think that's the answer, though. Root 22 over 3. Let's move on. Okay, practice question 4C. Um, so write all of this in the form A root 2, where A is an integer. Um, so, yeah, you need everything to be um, something root 2. So, you know, that's, that's your big clue right there. Yeah, so this root 50 definitely we're gonna have to break down into root two. Um and these and these as well. We're gonna have to rationalize, denominate, get rid of these fractions and things like that. So uh, it's quite a bit of working out for this one. Let me just see. Let's have a look. So we've got 26 over root two. Um how should we do this? Let's leave that as like is because what I'm going to do, um, you know, this 12 over root 18. Uh, I tell you what, you know, instead of root 18, let's break that down. Yeah, so um, could do it this way. So instead of rational denominator, you know what that root 18 is? So you can just break down that root 18 into root. 9 root 2. Let's do it like that. Okay, so we're going to get root 2 eventually somewhere. And let's break down that 50 
into the biggest square number that goes in, that's 25 uh, root 2. Yeah, uh, that gives us 26 root 2 over root 2 um, minus 12 over 3 root 2. Yeah, and these cancel each other out. Uh, so the 3 goes into that once, 3 goes into that four times. Okay, and the root 25, that simplifies to 5, so that's 2 times 5, which is 10. And you still got root 2 on the end. Okay, so you know this bit here with the fraction? You've got something over root 2 minus 4 over root 2. So um, it's like taking away fractions, isn't it? So um, what we can do is, um, in fact, shall I rationalize it? You know what? Let's just rationalize it. Let's just rationalize denominators for both of them. So you've got 26 over root 2. That rationalize by doing that. <clears throat> Take away 4 over root 2. Rationalize that bit as well. Yep. And we still got that. So this gives us... Uh, let's write over here. Uh, 26 root 2 over 2. Yeah, because root 2 times root 2 gives us 2. That's that bit. That simplifies even further. 2 goes into that 13 times. 2 goes into that once. Okay, so that's that bit done. Minus all of this. So again, you'll get 4 root 2 over... Root 2 times root 2 is just 2. So you've got 2 at the bottom. 2 goes into that once, 2 goes into that twice. <clears throat> and you got plus 10 root 2. So now you've got 13 root 2, take away 2 root 2, plus 10 root 2. So 13 take away 2 is <clears throat> 11, plus 10. So you've got 11 plus 10, which is 21 root 2. That should be your final answer. Yep, so that's one way of doing it. You could have done it a different way. You could you could have taken away these fractions. You know, like um, you know, like how you do taking away fractions, you look for a common denominator and do it that way. You could have done it that way as well <clears throat> for this fractiony bit. Um, but you should eventually get 21 root 2 as your answer. Yeah. Let's move on. Practice question 4D. Simplify this. Okay, so we've got. Uh, let's rationalize denominate. So let's multiply it by th root 3 over root 3. That gives us um, 3 root 3 times 3 plus root 6. Let's just leave it like that for now. And at the bottom, we've got root 3 times root 3, which is just 3. Let's multiply this out. So you've got that times that. And you got that times that. That gives you 3 root 3 plus uh, root 3 root 6 over 3. Um, Should we simplify this? Oh, I know what we can do. Let's break this root 6 down. So we've got 3 root 3 over... That's a funny looking 3. Uh, 3 root 3 over... Um, no, sorry. 3 root 3 plus... Uh, root 3, and that root 6 is the same as root 3 times root 2. Yep, let's do it like this. So now we've got 3 root 3 plus... Uh, root 3 times root 3 gives you 3 root 2 
over three. Um, and now you can factorize the top bit, take a, a factor of three out. That's the same as three root three plus root two. Yep, yeah. and you've still got three at the bottom. These threes will cancel, cancel each other out. You're left with root three plus root two, which you can't simplify anymore. Yeah, just leave it like that. You can't add them together, unfortunately. Um, if they were multiplying, then yes, you could. You could probably simplify it, but not like this. That's root three term. That's a two, a root two term. You can't add them together. You can't physically add them together. <clears throat> you just leave it like that. Yep, nice answer for that one. Uh, practice question 4E. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, blimey. Um, actually, it's not too bad. You know, because see the top bit there, it looks like a difference of two squares. So you're going to cancel some terms out definitely by expanding that. Uh, let's do that here. Um, this one with this one <clears throat> gives 16. This one with this one gives minus 8 root 3. This one with this one gives plus um, 8 root 3. Yeah. And this one with this one gives uh, minus positive times and negative gives a minus uh, four um, root three times root three is just three so let's put that in brackets let's do that like that yep um, that's the top bit you still got root 11 at the bottom okay Come to that in a minute. Uh, let's simplify the top. You've got this term and this term, which cancel each other out. They're gone. Yep. Just make sure it is. Yeah, because it's like a difference of two squares, isn't it? You'll get um, This one with this one was eight root three. Yeah, minus eight root three plus root eight, eight root three. They'll cancel each other right there, gone. So it's te technically at the top, you've got 16 minus 12, 16 minus 12, which is four. Yeah, four at the top over root 11. Is that a final answer? Is that it? Pretty sure that's your answer. I'll say it. you can't simplify it anymore. <clears throat> Nothing else goes into root 11. You're done. Practice question 4F, show that this can be written as 4 minus root 3. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to get rid of this fraction somehow. Um, so you know how, you, um, how we got rid of terms by doing difference of two squares? Could do it that way. Let's have a look. So 5 plus 2 root 3 over 2 plus root 3. So um, let's think of these as brackets. Uh, so just by rationalizing, rationalizing the denominator, um, we need to multiply it by 2 minus root 3 to both top and bottom. Yeah. And the reason for that is because you will end up with uh, fewer terms, you know, you'll cancel some terms out, which is what we want. Um, and hopefully simplify it. Let's see what we get. So for the top bit, I'm going to do the top bit separately. I'm going to do the bottom bit separately as well. So the top bit is 5 plus 2 root of 3. And we got 2 minus root 3. Yep. This one with this one gives... 10. This one with this one. Oops, let me just move up a little bit. Um, gives us minus 
5 root 3. This one, this one gives plus 4 root 3. And this one with this one gives minus 2. Um, root 3 times root 3 gives us just 3 on its own. Okay. And that simplifies to uh, 10 minus 6, because you've got minus 6 on the end. 10 minus 6 is 4. Um, and you've got minus 5 root 3 plus 4 root 3. That should be a 3 there, by the way. Um, so you're on minus 5, you're going to plus 4. So it's getting warmer. You end up on minus 1 root 3. Yep, so that's the top bit. Uh, the bottom bit, they're saying that should be our answer. Oh, we'll see. Okay. Um, the bottom bit, we've just done the top bit, by the way, just expanded the top bit. The bottom bit, let's do that separately here. So you've got 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. Okay, this one, this one gives you 4. This one with this one gives you minus 2 root 3. This one with this one is plus 2 root 3. They're going to cancel each other out. And this one with this one is just minus 3. So you get 4 minus 3, which is a 1. Uh, they cancel each other out. Oh, yeah, it is. It's just 1. So you've got uh, on the top, you've got. 4 minus root 3 over 1, which is the same as 4 minus root 3, which is what we're after. Yep, there's your answer. So, yeah, just uh, rationalize the denominator for both top and bottom. So to cancel terms out, definitely use, uh, if it's a plus in there, definitely use a minus. Yeah, if it was a minus in here at the bottom, I would have used a plus. So, you know, you need to get rid of terms. The only, well, the best way of getting rid of terms is by doing difference of two squares. We're going to have to do it to both top and bottom, though, of the fraction. Yeah, so just watch out for things like that. Um, yeah, next we're going to go through the extension questions. Uh, if you want to try them yourself, pause the video. And when you're ready, uh, just unpause it and, we'll, and I'll, I'll go through them. Extension question one show that this can be written as root 3. Um, so it's one of those where you've got uh, something at the bottom with a plus. So let's use that thing where we do difference of two squares. So it's going to be 3 root 3 plus 3 over 3 plus root 3. So uh, we're going to multiply both top and bottom by, instead of a plus, it's going to have a minus, yeah, so it's going to be 3 minus root 3 at the bottom. Same for the top as well, 3 minus root 3 as well, has to be the same. Um, and this will cancel out some terms, and uh, we'll we'll get we'll get our answer, hopefully, eventually. Let's do it separately. So let's do the top two over here. So that's 3 root 3. Obviously, if you don't end up with this, if you don't end up with root 3 as your final answer, you know you've gone wrong somewhere. So always recheck um, your working out. So you've got this times this. Let's do it bit by bit. So this one with this one gives you um, three, time, 3 times 3 is 9, and you still got root 3. Okay. This one with this one is minus 3, oh, just be careful with this one. Root 3 times root 3 is going to give you just 3 on its own. Let's put that in brackets. So it's minus 3 times 3, which obviously gives you 9. I'll just leave it like this for now. This one with this one is plus 9. Oh, I think they'll cancel each other out. We'll come to that in a minute. And this one with this one is minus, because it's a positive times and a negative, gives you a negative, minus 3 root 3. Yep. Uh, this gives us 
9 root 3 minus 9 plus 9, they're going to cancel each other out. Minus 3 root 3. Yeah. So these, let's do it in a different colour. This goes with this. And this goes with this. Yep. <clears throat> Let's do the red ones first. So you've got 9 root 3, take away 3 root 3. Uh, that's going to give you 6 root 3. Yep. And then minus 9, plus 9, they cancel each other out. So that's the top bit done. So for the top bit, you've got 6 root 3. Let's do the bottom two, which is these two, separately. So we've got 3 plus root 3 times 3 minus root 3. Let's draw the arrows. This one with this one gives you 9. This one with this one is minus 3 root 3. This one, this one, plus root th 3 root 3. They're going to cancel each other out. This one with this one is going to be minus 3 on its own. Yeah, because root 3 times root 3 is just 3. Um, again, these will cancel each other out. This one with this one, they'll disappear. You're just left with 9 minus 3, which is 6. Oh, I can see where this is going. So uh, for the top, I've got 6 root 3 over, uh, for the bottom bit, 6. And they cancel each other out. And you're left with root 3. There's your answer. Yep, just work them out separately. You know, if you don't get root 3 as your answer, if you don't cancel any terms out, top or bottom, you know you've gone wrong somewhere. Um, yeah, so always recheck. I did this question before, and I did get it wrong because uh, I made a silly little mistake somewhere. So um, just be careful. You know, when you're multiplying out brackets, just make sure you've got the right term. Make sure it's the correct sign as well and everything. Um, don't miss out any roots or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, just be careful. That's that one done. Let's do the next one. Extension question two. Okay, so simplify root 80 plus root 2 and 2 ninths. Give your answer in the form a root 5 over b, where a and b are integers. Okay, so, um, yeah, there's your big clue right there. Yeah, so you're going to have to end up with root 5 eventually from these. Um, so we're going to have to break these down into root 5 times something. Yeah, so we're going to have to break them down. How many 5s go into that? How many 5s go into that? And so on. Um, so let's rewrite this. Let's break down the 80. How many fives go into 80? Uh, once, remainder three, um, 16. Is it 16? Yeah. Oh, I see where it's going. So, you know, root 80, you can rewrite that into root 16, root 5. Yep. And we'll simplify that even more in a minute. This bit here, let's change it to, because um, we can't do anything with that at the moment, unless we change it to um, improper fraction. So multiply these two together and plus that. So you get 18 plus 2, which is 20 over nine yep and this is the same as root 16 is four you still got that root five uh this is the same as root 20 over root nine which is four root five plus uh root 20 over three um Okay, so now uh, I need that root 20 to be root 5 times something. So let's break down the root 20 as well. Uh, so that's going to be 4 root 5. So how many 4s go to 20? 5 times. Still got that. So this will simplify to 2. So we've got 4 root 5 plus... 2 root 5 over 3. 
Uh, we need it as one big fraction. So let's now, let's call it that over one plus that over three. So I'm gonna have to times this one by three, this fraction over here. Um, you're gonna have to multiply the top by three as well. So that's the same as 12 root five plus, mm, don't forget that. Um, and that stays the same. Yep, and when you add the fractions together, you'll get um, one big fraction, you'll get 12 root five plus two root, two root five is 14 root five over three. There's your answer. Yep, loads of ways of doing these, but that's probably a nice easy way to do it. So break it down, you're gonna end up with root five all over the place. You can simplify that very easily. Yep, and there's your answer. Uh, extension question three, show that this simplifies to an integer. Okay, so there's your big clue right there. It's double brackets. So let's rewrite this as, Uh, that double brackets. So this with this, let's expand it. Um, five times five is 25. Root three times root three gives you just three on its own. So that's that bit done. This one with this one gives you minus five root. Three root 12, we'll have to leave it like that for now okay uh this one with this one it's minus five root three root 12. and this one with this one gives us positive 12. yep <clears throat> let's simplify even more 25 times by 3 75 um minus five root three root 12 minus another five root three root 12. You should get, you've got minus five of these minus another five of these. So you've got minus 10 root three root 12. Yeah, plus 12. Okay, um, let's keep going. Yep, gonna have to break down the root 12. That's a, quite a big number in there. So let's break that down. We've got 75 minus 10 root three and 12 is the same as root three root four. Yeah, I see where this is going. Um, simplify even more. Ten, and you've got that, um, which gives you seventy-five minus ten times six, which is ten times six, which is uh, sixty plus twelve. Yeah, you get a whole number. Seventy-five take away sixty is fifteen. Fifteen plus twelve is fifteen plus twelve. 27. There's your answer. Yep, and you do get an integer. You'll get a whole number eventually. Um, that's one way of doing it. Yep, and there's your answer. Extension question four, show that this can be written in the form like this, where C and D are integers. So again, uh, it looks like a fraction over 10. Um, how are we going to do this? Let's have a look. So we've got 2 root 6 over root 5. 
Um, what should we do with that? We need to get rid of those roots. Um, let's do it this way. Let's rationalize the denominator for that. And let's do the same for that as well. Yep. Let's do them separately. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, you'll get two, root six, root five, on the top over five, minus root three, root 10, over 10. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. We've got two fractions. Uh, that's out of five, that's out of 10. Let's double this first fraction. So you're gonna have to double the top as well. So you'll get four root six root five over 10 minus, keep that the same. Yep, which gives you um, four root six. Oh, how am I going to do this? Four root six root five. Oops. Um, minus. Root three, root ten. You can't simplify that yet. Over ten. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so we've got the we've got the out of ten thing. We need to simplify that top bit even more. So let's break these down um, to smaller numbers. So definitely that root six. We can break that down. That's going to be four. Oops. Four, uh, root six is the same as um, root two, root three, and we still got root five, minus root three, uh, root 10 is the same as root two, root five. Yeah. Oh, there you go. In fact, let me rewrite that. Uh, this bit here, Let's do it in the same order because it makes no difference. You know, these um, thirds, uh, root 10 is the same as root 2. And you've also got root 3 in there and you've got root 5 in there. It's, notice it's exactly the same. You've got four of those. Take away one of those. All over 10. This will definitely simplify. So you've got four of those minus one of those. You've got three of those over 10. And um, we can simplify this even more. In fact, because we need to, we need to write it as one third, as one um, uh, something times by root something. So let's multiply all these together. Two times three is six times five is 30. So it's three root 30 over 10. And there's your answer. Is there an easy way? Just seeing if there's an easier way. Um, three root 30. Yeah, I could have called that root 30 there, maybe. And that root 30, oh yeah. So instead of doing all this, you know when you got up to this bit, uh, you could have said that is the same as two root 30 over five minus root 30 over 10. And you would have got your answer eventually. In fact, you would have got it a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, you could have done it that way. Let me just separate that. Yeah, 
and you would have got your answer a lot quicker. Um, but you, you get your, your your answer eventually. You know, you'll you'll notice um, where you're going, and what it's asking for. Don't forget, always recheck what is it asking for. Let's see if you're going in the right direction. Yeah. Let's move on. Extension question five. Um, got W equal to three over five root X. Circle the expression for W squared. Okay, so um, that's the same as, so what they're saying is three squared over that squared as well. Um, so everything gets squared. Um, well, three squared is nine. So it's definitely got a nine at the top. Five squared, well, five times five is 25. And root x times root x, root x, root x is just x on its own. So it's that one, definitely. Yep, that's your answer. Um, extension question six. Show that that can be written in the form a root b, where a and b are integers. Okay, so... Gonna have to rationalize the denominator, so let's do that. That gives us 14 root 7 over 7. That simplifies 7 goes into that once, 7 goes into that twice. Yeah, you're gonna get 2 root 7, dead easy. Too much just for doing that. Um, work out this give your answer as an integer okay so definitely we can break these down these um square roots definitely we can simplify that so let's call it um root 10 let's call it root 2 and root 5 um and i'll show you why because 5 goes into that as well remember when we did that before 5 goes into that um how many times was it 16 yeah and that's going to simplify to four later on and root 18 is the same as root 9 root 2 yeah again root 9 is going to simplify let's simplify this even more so we've got 2 root 2 root 5 can't simplify that yet times well, root 16 gives you 4 it's still got root 5 Root nine is three, and that's just root two. Okay, let's start bringing these together. So I've got two there times four times three. Okay, um, and we still got root two, root two, and I've still got root five, root five. Uh, okay, that's going to be 2 times 4 times 3 times another 2 times another 5. It's going to be quite a big number. Uh, let's do it in stages. We're almost there. So we've got um, 8 times 3, which is 24. 24 times by 2 is 48 so it's 48 times by 5 let's work that on the side 8 fives are 40 4 fives 20 plus the 4 240 is your answer yeah obviously this is going to be non-calculator so you can have to work out on the side yeah i'm sure there are loads of ways of doing that that's just one way. And you don't have to write it like this. Obviously, whatever makes sense to you, uh, however you, you write this makes no difference. Just as long as you don't miss any terms, um, don't miss any square roots or anything like that. Yeah, just make sure that you've done it in a correct way. Let's move on. Ext extension question seven, work out all of this, give your answer in the form root A over B, where A and B are integers. Okay, so again, um, let me think what's a good way of doing this. 
Let's break these down, these numbers right here. Now these uh, root 18, let's call that root nine, root two, minus 28 over, um, biggest square number that goes into 50 is 25 root two. Yeah, we get three root two minus 28 over five root two. Yeah. Um, shall we rationalize the denominator for this one? Good. Let's do it like this. What we're going to get. So we've got three root two minus. 28 times 5, 40, 10 plus 4 is 14, 140, well, 140 root 2 over 5 times 5 is 25 times 2, uh, root 2 times root 2 is Two, that's 50. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's going to be... Over 50. Um, you can simplify that. Let's get rid of those zeros first. And um, two goes into that. No. Two, I'm talking about. Let's leave that like that for now. Okay, so I've got fourteen over five root two. Um, let's do that over one. Yep. So I'm going to have to times this fraction by five. So I've got um, fifteen root two at the top over five minus. 14 root 2 over 5, you'll get 15 take away 14 is 1 root 2 over 5. Is that my answer? Yes, brilliant. There's your answer. So don't forget to write in the answer box root 2 over 5. There's the answer. Yeah, again, you can do these loads of ways. There's there's tons of ways of doing these. Um, well, maybe not tons, but quite a few ways of doing these. Yeah, that's just one way. Your my, your way might be different to mine. As long as you get the same answer, that's the main thing. And that's it. Yep. So, hope that helped. Um, just keep practicing. You know, uh, have a look at difference of two squares as well. That's a really good topic to look at for this and uh, obviously rationalize the denominator. Have a look at the videos for math swatches while well. they do help. Yeah, exactly the same way that we do things. Um, the only way you're gonna get this is by practice. And you know, if you do the higher, pretty, pretty sure this stuff like this is gonna come up. Okay, I shall see you in the next video.